So SM is one of the most um, famous case studies in all of affective neuroscience. Um, she's a woman who is currently, I think, in her 40s. And um, as far as we can tell, the destruction of her amygdala has left her essentially fearless to at least external stimuli. And um, to test whether SM is in fact fearless, the researchers who worked with her took her to a couple of um, the, the most frightening places that they could think of in the local area. So one was an exotic pet store, and they offered her uh, exotic snakes to, to hold in the store, even though she says she's afraid of snakes. Many people would hesitate to hold a snake right up to their face and touch its tongue and inspect its face really closely, but SM had no problem doing that. Um, they also took her to a place that uh, it is at least called the most haunted house in the United States, and they decorated it up for Halloween, and they have people, the staff, dressing up as monsters and things to try to scare people. And the researchers in SM went through with just a regular group, and all the other people who were in the group, as soon as they were in this haunted house that is apparently very spooky, were you know huddling together, and they were really slow to go around corners, and SM was taking the lead and saying, come on guys, follow me, and she would be the first around the corners, and when the monsters jumped out and tried to scare her, apparently she would scare them sometimes because she uh, had no fear response to them, which they were not expecting. And, um, and so what was really interesting about this is that SM is not emotionless. She, she experienced um, a lot of curiosity and excitement, which we think are governed by um, other regions of the brain predominantly. Um, but she just doesn't seem to have any normal anticipatory fear response. Um, but her, her lack of a fear response gets her in trouble. So she uh, apparently walks home in the evenings through sort of a vacant lot and she was mugged there at one point and I think at knife point and uh, most people when something scary like that happens to you and you are at risk of getting hurt you have a normal fear response when you're approaching that same place that would send you avoiding it I mean that's what the fear response is all about avoid things that might hurt you uh, and she doesn't have that response so she continues to take that same route home every night by herself you know.